is Nente Azaya. I'm a video editor and a graphic designer. In this video, we are going to be creating something like this. This is the ending spot. Alright, so that's what we are going to be creating in this video. Pay attention as I show you how to create some a beautiful video like this, attractive and the colors are superb. Okay, so let's get started. I know you're happy for today's video. Alright, so let's dive in. So first of all, go back, go back. I create a new project. We are using 16 by 9. Then tap on next then pick out the images you want to use as the background so my images are in my download then all right so these are my images one two three four five six seven so i have seven images all right so these are the images okay these are the images all right so if you can see these my images are uh, you can see this part they are not full um, width see this part they are not full width so how do i make them to be full width? okay to do that tap on each of them just tap on the first one then tap on this place all right tap on that you see start position i'll show you how to zoom in and zoom out okay in this video so just pay attention when i get there i will show you okay so what i want to do now i want to make it full width so tap on this place to bind these two together so that when you scale it will scale the start posi position and the end position okay let me quickly show you that all right so in this pan and zoom we have the start position and we have the end position okay then we have this this one we we it will lock the start position and the end position together okay so if i should tap on the start posi position and i zoom it out okay then i start i tap on the end position and i also zoom it out like this bigger than the start position okay see what when i will play this video see what will happen okay the the the, the photo will play as a video okay it will zoom out okay so look at it all right so that's the effect of that okay so i'll tap on the second one that same place then uh in this one i want to zoom it out so the start position will start here then it will end here to come out very well okay so if, you if i should play the first one and the second one see how it will look like all right so i'll do the same thing for all of them so i'll pause the video now i'll do the same thing for all of them so that this video will not be that long all right so all right so i'm done doing that so let's play and see what what we get all right and we got that so what next do we need to do go to your layer okay all right so tap on the first um image then tap on uh, here we can see clip graphics so tap on this place clip graphics so when i tap on that something like this will open up okay so as for you you don't have this um, clip graphics okay so i'll show you where to download it from that's the um artist rtc motion that we are going to be using okay so go to your as for you your data should be on okay so go to your um access store um among um the clip graphics here this is the icon for it that is the icon for it so where that thing is is um So when you go to your clip graphics, go to promotional among the options, just scroll down, you see promotional here. This is the promotional. Okay, so when you tap on that, you scroll down, you will see the artsy 
um, graphics axis motion okay this is the one so tap on it when you tap on it it will process then you tap on so there will be a download button here because my own is already installed so there will be a download button there so download it and allow it only it to install it to install by itself okay so when you're done installing you go back just go back like this okay so for the first one we'll tap on the rc motion okay for this first one you can choose among uh, anyone you want to want to conf as the first one okay so for my own first one i want this one to be the first one so just tap on it and it will be applied to your uh, um, picture or if it's video you are using it to be applied to it so go to the second one that same process go to clip graphics go to rc motion um, pick anyone you want to use so i will use this one for that all right so i will do that for all of them all the images if it's um if it's a video that is the same thing it will apply to it so i'll do that for all my um, images i'll be using so let me all right so do that first and this is the last one okay so let's play that quickly and we'll see all right and we got something like that we are almost done with the video now so all right so at the ending part we want to add where the contact information will be like you saw in the first one i played so to add up that, that um, contact information go to media then pick any image if you want to use image as a background or anything you want to use as a background for for me i will use image so i'll pick this one okay it will come in as a background so i will scale that out again use the start position and the end position to scale it out okay so that it will be full screen then go to layer this time around you go to layer go to media go to images pick any of these shapes because you want to create a form of overlay over the over the background image okay so in, increase it to full the screen okay when you increase it to full the screen choose any color you want to use i want to use this color choose any color then reduce the opacity so that the image under will show up so increase the opacity like this okay and that's that for the last image so for the first page we want to create same thing so go to media go to your last um la your first image go to media go to download that's where my own image is so i will use um, this one as for it okay so i'll scale this out the same way we, we, we zoom it out just zoom it out a little bit okay so go to layer go to media to create um a type of uh, an overlay over it so this is the solid color so um zoom it out to full the screen change the color to any color of your choice so uh, let's use this okay so reduce the opacity no reduce the opacity reduce the opacity i'm using 65 percent so reduce so let's make use of 60 73 percent as the opacity okay so let's play and see all right so now let's add um let's add audio so that you will enjoy this tutorial okay so this is um, our music so go to let me see this one all right let's make use of this audio Alright, so let's play and see. Alright, so we have added our audio 
so what do we need to do next let's send this okay so let's read because the the length is um the duration of each of these clip is much so let's reduce the duration so tap on the first one go to clip okay trim it and trim right trim to right of player so i'll trim that i'll go to the second video the second clip then i'll tap on that to clip it also to trim it trim it okay go to the second one i'll tap on it use the scissors icon i'll trim it then go to this uh, the next one trim it also just the same thing okay go to this one i'll trim it then go to this other one i'll trim it also go to this go to the next one to trim it all right so let's play and see so it will come off fast and in fast Alright, so that's that. So now what is left for us is to add our text over the first one. So to add the text, I want this text to start to come in from here. Okay, so use this playhead. Okay, this is a playhead. Take it to the position you want the, te the first text to start from. Okay, so I just want, I want this overlay to come over it from here. Then I want the text to begin from here. Okay, so go to layer go to text so let me use um i'll just use any name so the name i used there was delicious food delicious food from okay so this is my first test so i'll increase it put it over here change the font font um, type so let's use um, this one Pattaya regular if you don't have this font go to your store Go to your access store over here and download it. So Pattaya regular So that's the font I'll be using using for the first test. Okay, then uh, I will need to, I don't need to go and add text again Okay, what I'll do I'll tap on the text I've added already go to this three dot and duplicate the text Okay, so when I duplicate it, I'll move it down just like this okay move it down a little bit like this okay then i'll edit that make that um hannah's kitchen hannah's kitchen all right so for that i'll change the font type to um go to latin i'll change the font type to z vibes no so to this one Use any font type you have in your own system, okay? Then I'll reduce the size of the uh, delicious food, okay? So let's play and see. Okay, so if you can see now, there's no animation on the text. So I'll add animation. So for this one, I want it to slide in from... It should slide in from the left. Something like this. Alright. Then for the second one, the Anna's Kitchen, I want it to slide in. That one, will, I'll counter the first one. It will slide in from the right. Okay. Alright, so let's play and see. Alright, so when they come in like this, I want them to go out. Okay, so I'll add, add animation. It should, um, no, it should go to... You should slide to the left, okay, as the out animation. Then the second one, the Anna's Kitchen, the out animations, you should slide to the, should slide to the right, okay. So let's play and see. All right. So if you can see, you will, you will see that you will notice that our our text layer is crossing the line here okay entering the other layer okay so to trim that down you will use 
first of all let's trim the background down first okay so let's trim it from here let's trim it from here okay so trim to right of playhead okay to bring it down so for this one now so let's play and see okay so over here since there's no transition between them let's trim the text from here so trim it to the right trim it to the right also okay so let's play and see all right so i i, I we have something something beautiful like that okay so what do we need to do next let's add um let's add a sound effect to the text so that when it comes in it will have that sweet effect and uh, sound effect okay so for the first one let, we want the sound effect to start from here observe my player and anything i'm doing i anywhere i want something to start from that's where i pull my playhead okay if you don't do that it will disturb you when you want to arrange them okay so i pull my playhead there and go to audio go to sf sfx okay over here i have some sound effect i've downloaded so go to your access store under sfx and download this sound effect okay uh, especially the the wolf's sound okay so download this sound effect all right so we'll use this one so let me listen to it so let's use that one let's add that one there so let's play and see You can hear the sound effect on, at the background okay it will not come out that much so let's play okay so for it to come out tap on the sound effect tap on this audio keyboard increase it to the last so that it will come out under the background so let's play. okay if you can hear it you release yeah it's a little bit all right all right so remember this thing now if you can see now this is where the this is where the um, the text are crossing each other and that's where we want the sound effect to take place so let's drag the long press on the sound effect and take it a little bit forward so let's play you can hear it now all right and we are done designing that okay so so that this thing will not disturb you what do we do so that we to uh, to enhance your workflow okay we want to we want to create another text at the end here okay which will house the contact information and um, give them direction on where to buy our product okay so to do that tap on your text layer then long press on it and just drag it over to the last side okay for the second one also the second text just long press drag it over to the last side okay then the sound effect also long press drag it over to the last side okay that one cannot be moved so tap on that and go to duplicate it okay so click on long press on it and drag it over to the last side also all right and we have something like this over the last um, slide okay now we need to edit this text okay if you can see now our text are showing over all the slides okay so if you don't want any text to show over this this other slide what you will need to do now is to trim it from here okay so we want this our text just pinch your screen and increase it so that you see the slide very well okay so go over to this point this is where we want our text to end okay so we want our text to end here okay so we want this text to end here the color also so we trim it to the right of playhead so for this one now uh, for this our text we want it to end here okay so what do we do we tap on the text tap on the text where we want it to end we want this text to end here here that's where we want okay when you tap on it you go to your trim 
this time around we are going to split at the playhead using this one so that we can have this other side left for us and having this other side left for us okay so tap on split at, um, at the playhead tap on the second text split it at the playhead okay so now we if we play now then we will go over to the last slide okay this is the last slide all right so tap on this text go to split split at playhead tap on this other text go to split split at playhead okay so what we we have to delete this um, text showing so now we want we have to delete this other text we have to delete this other text this one and this one okay so that they will not show on those middle slide we want the text to show over the two uh, last the first slide and the last slide so for this uh, middle text tap on it then use your delete from here you tap on this one delete it also so let's go and edit the last slide okay so this is the last slide so for the delicious food we we'll change it to change it to um, visit visit us okay so we change the kitchen to visit us as maybe we put our the address so let's say at um so, so, so address so let's say um um Aba Kiriki road two okay so this is where we want them to come and eat the food okay so i change the color of the abacuity road if you can see the te the text is not visible enough so let's change the font type to something people will see because our aim here is for them to see our text okay so that one is visible enough okay so we can duplicate that to put as our phone number so duplicate it so that some of them the we need direction can call us so let's put this as phone number so let's say call so let's say call i just put nonsense number here yeah? so let's say call us and so 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 this all right so increase the size of this so that it will create a form of balance between the first one and the last one so let's change the color of this to something yellow so that it will come out on it all right so that's how to work with this so let's take this up again take this one a little bit here then take this one here so let's play it and see all right so you see what we got now very good so let's add an animation to this one so this one should slide to the left okay so let's play and see All right, and we have something beautiful like that. All right, so we have come to the end of this um, video. So let's play and see our final result. so that's bring us to the end of the video some of you might not know phone can create something like this but thank god you have this class okay so that brings us to the end of this video all right so do something like this download these food images or i'll provide the food images um alongside the folder containing the video of this class so i'll provide the food images for you okay so that you can and work with that and practice because most times it is hard for us to go look for images to use in our work except yeah, um, not when there are nobody's paying you for the job but you just want to do it for your portfolio okay so i will provide the images in the folder containing this um, video so use that image 
practice do it and submit it in the whatsapp group that will be created okay so when you are done with creating the video you just tap on the export button up here tap on the export button it will take you over here okay so tap on save leave the um leave it to this normal setting then tap on save and it will export to my phone i don't want to export it it will be exported to my phone okay then you can share to the whatsapp group